Same time, the city of Charleston says they've started their initial preparations ahead of Tropical Storm Medallia's potential impact later this week. Like Chris mentioned, our first alert meteorologists have been saying that storm will coincide with a king tide in the Charleston Harbor. Array Rayna reports on why the mayor says they're taking this storm seriously. The city of Charleston says flooding will be the biggest impact when Tropical Storm Idalia moves through later this week. They say they've already started preparing for what potentially comes their way. Mayor John Tecklenburg says city offices will close starting around noon on Wednesday due to the storm. He says public works employees have been cleaning out ditches, lowering water levels at Lake Dotterer in West Ashley and Colonial Lake, as well as installing pumps. Tecklenburg also says the deep underground drainage tunnels in the city are working and should help move water out faster than previous storms. We don't anticipate at all that there will be any evacuation calls for this storm. Uh, again, it's just predicted to be a tropical storm by the time it reaches Charleston, but we're just being a little careful. Sandbags will be passed out at these three locations starting tomorrow and into Wednesday. The city will also open six parking garages at 1 p.m. on Wednesday for anyone who needs to move their car to higher ground. Trash will be picked up on Wednesday, but officials are asking locals not to put it out on Thursday or Friday. The mayor says they don't know yet how much flooding the storm will bring, but it's a reminder to be prepared. If you hadn't gotten your supplies in order for your, for your household, please go ahead and get that straight so you'll be ready no matter what comes. Police say they believe several roads will be closed due to the storm, and they just want to make sure people are aware of that. And the fire department says they will have two high water rescue vehicles in service to help pull people out of flooded areas. In Charleston, Ray Arena, Live 5 News. Fire officials also say each truck will have chainsaws on board to help clear any trees that may have fallen during the storm. The city says locals can call their help desk at 843-724-7311 with any questions that you might have.